Good evening and welcome to the Manse, where we're going to be joining with Christians from many different denominations all across Scotland tonight to pray for our world. In a moment, I'm going to read a letter that the churches have sent out for this act of worship. And then I'll be lighting my own Shalom candle. So if you have a candle handy or you want to pause the video just now and go and get a candle, you can join with me in lighting a candle at seven o'clock. Then I'll be leading us in the prayer that has been sent out for tonight. And there's a response within the prayer. So each time I say, Lord, in your mercy, I would invite you to respond, hear my prayer. Once we've prayed, I'll leave the candle burning and play some quiet music so that you've got some time for your own prayers tonight. So the churches have issued a letter with this week's prayer that reads, As we continue to journey through this challenging time, we are conscious that the course of our journey will take us to different places. At some points, we'll have greater clarity as to where that journey is taking us. At other points, we'll be less sure. The two disciples who left Jerusalem to journey to Emmaus were definitely in the latter category. As they journey, they try to make sense of all that they're currently experiencing. And in truth, they're finding it difficult. It's as if the source of their hope has gone. Unexpectedly, they then find themselves in the presence of someone whom they do not recognise. The unrecognised presence listens to their story and having listened, begins to offer a new way of understanding that story. As they come towards the end of their journey, the unrecognised is revealed as a risen Lord. The Lord has risen indeed. The Lord is always with us on our journey. And so now we'll pray together when we've lit our candle. Let's all pray. Lord, we are those who journey and who find that journey hard today. We are those who journey and long to find our hope renewed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, whether in our own company or with companions beside us, we journey on, whether sure or unsure, as to our journey's end, come beside us through the risen Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for others, for carers of the living and of the dying, for the bereaved and for the anxious, for those fearing loss of work and of business. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for scientists and researchers for those seeking to understand the challenge we face, for those creating potential vaccines, for those advising decision makers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who shape our common life in local councils and in Scottish government and in the government of the United Kingdom. Grant to them wisdom, compassion and understanding. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. 